Hi, I'm Keith Gear, Director of Engineering Services here at Duralast. Since 1978, Duralast has been providing innovative solutions to the roofing industry. Our newest product is the Quality Assurance Pull Test Tool that tests our fully adhered membranes directly over existing roofs. The pull test tool, made of a frame and puller, measures the strength and integrity of the current roofing substrate prior to installing a new roof. Existing substrates must be able to support the new roofing system, which is why the concept of the pull test was first originated by Spry. Duralast's version of the pull test is based off of Spry standards. It is affordable, durable, lightweight, and portable, allowing you to get on and off the roof faster. Over the next few minutes, you will learn the complete process for conducting pull tests. To prepare for pull tests, contractors must first locate the test areas and prepare the test samples. It is important to test the most vulnerable areas of the roof deck, including areas with low spots, areas that have signs of ponding water, and areas with high failure potential. One sample must be taken for every 6,000 square feet and is required for all levels of the roof. Once a test area has been identified, it is the contractor's responsibility to prepare the test sample by using a 12 by 12 wood mounting base as a template to draw an outline that marks where adhesion needs to be placed. To protect other areas of the roof deck from spray foam debris, make a membrane template to cover the surrounding area. Apply the adhesive, remove the template, and secure the durofleece membrane to the adhesive. Clean the top of the membrane with acetone. Apply three lines of adhesive to the top of the membrane and secure the wood mounting base. Apply 15 to 20 pounds of weight to the sample and let cure per adhesive manufacturing recommendation or a minimum of four to six hours. To maintain watertight integrity, keep the substrate attached until the test pulls can be performed. It is best practice to conduct the test in the same day if possible. Pull tests can be performed by the adhesive manufacturer, Duralast Quality Assurance Team, or a Duralast pull tester can be purchased. Once the test samples have cured, assemble the pull tester. Take the frame and match up the letter combinations to properly insert the legs. Secure the legs by attaching clevis pins. Lay out the frame and trace around the inside of the square. Once traced, cut out from the wood base down to the existing roof deck and remove the debris. Next, attach the pull plate to the wood base with 12 number 14 one inch long screws. Place the tester frame over the pull plate, along with the pull tester with the pressure reader. Secure the pull plate chain to the pull tester. Operate the pull tester until failure occurs, or the pull tester is maxed out at 1,000 pounds. Repeat this process at all test sample locations. Email Duralast Engineering Services at engineering at duralast.com to report the number of pulls, the location of pulls, the value of the failure, and the mode of the failure. After the tests have been completed and the report submitted, contractors must repair the roof and patch the substrate to maintain watertight integrity. As you have learned, pull tests are critical to the success of re-roof projects. Duralast version of the pull test is based off of Spry standards, is affordable, durable, lightweight, and portable, allowing you to get on and off the roof faster. In closing, I would like to remind you to practice safe work habits by wearing the proper PPE while in the field. At Duralast, we believe that safety goes hand in hand with the quality and integrity of our products and services. Thank you for joining us. If you want to learn more, go to Duralast.com or give us a call. Thank you.